BioCon 900 is the latest version of the CubeScan series and is much more convenient and useful than existing products. Let's learn how to use the CubeScan BioCon 900. First, press the power button until the screen turns on. Please select the patient type when the power is turned on. You can see the female, child, and male icons. You have to press the male icon if you are a female and have had a hysterectomy. Now, make sure your patient looks at the ceiling in a correct position. Rotate the wrist of the user from the position that can be seen on the screen and apply the gel on the probe. Draw an imaginary line that extends from the navel to the pubic bone and place the probe on the patient's abdomen 3 to 5 centimeters above the top of the pubic bone. Do not move the end of the probe that you have placed on the patient. Instead, angle the probe upward and downward in order to locate the bladder. Pre-scan. M-Cube's patented technology makes it easier to locate the bladder. If you slowly raise the probe from the target location towards the feet, you will be able to locate the bladder. You can refer to the illustration on the side in order to see a visual image of how to use the device. If you press the scan button when the bladder is at its largest size, the residual volume will be calculated. Now you can check the results. You can press the Save button to save the results or press the Print button on the docking station. The latest CubeScan series, BioCon 900, has the following features. First, it has a short scan time. By pre-scanning, scanning will be complete within three seconds from the point where the bladder becomes biggest. Second, it can scan approximately 1,000 times when it is fully charged. Third, after using it, you can charge BioCon 900 wirelessly by just placing it on the docking station. Four, the data is sent wirelessly with an infrared light. Fifth, it is easy to take care of the patient because BioCon 900 can recognize the number of the patient and store it with the data.